is this the solution to the dog hair issues that plague detailers? Of course it is. Jackie, I heard you. You're with, with Furdozer, and I was listening in, and you mentioned different types of dog hair, and I said, oh, someone gets it. So we have all these different edges because there's different dog hair. Some are short, some are long, and there's different surfaces. I've used a puma stone before, and it grinds into the carpet, and it leaves all kinds of little stone it tablets, tab and it yeah. scratches the, the fiber on the on the carpet. Tell me about Fur Dozer. We talked a little bit off camera. They are a huge hit already, but you're just getting into auto detailing. Yes, we actually just launched this product last week. Um, so it's been a huge problem. Everybody has a dog and who has a car understands how it gets embedded into your, your surface of your, your carpets. So this is a multi-edge tool. We've got the top edge, which is six um, ridges. The bottom has four ridges and an offset squeegee blade. So it's very simple to use. You just hold it flat, you pull it down towards you, and you simply pull up the pet hair. And you keep working that surface in, short strokes, and you hold it nice and flat. You can turn it over to use this edge. You want to hold it at an um, edge to engage that squeegee blade like that. You pick up all that hair and you finish it up until all that hair is off your carpet and it's nice and clean again. And now all the hair is clean and voila. Real quick, there's going to be a discount code for this, an Amazon affiliate link below. Uh, I'm not getting anything unless you click on that. It's a, it's a small Amazon affiliate link, but we're gonna put a discount code on the screen. So that's to keep the folks watching. So keep watching it if you wanna know what that discount code is and you can maybe save a, a little bit of money on this. Okay, so here's the reality. I started playing around with this and you yep. said, make sure you use it the right way. Yep. So I don't want it to be complicated. Okay. I think intuitively detailers would figure this out. Yep. When do I put it on an edge? When do I run it flat? But, but walk me through how this thing works again and, and what I should know. So there is an offset squeegee blade here. So what the one thing you don't want to do is hold it flat and pull the offset squeegee blade towards you because that squeegee blade is going to fight you. That's the one that sort of feels yes. like against the so grain or whatever. You want to hold that in an angle to make sure that really engages. If you want to use this flat surface, you need to turn it this way and pull it towards you. And that engages all four of those ridges in order to pull out the, the hair that's embedded in the carpet. This, these six flat surfaces, again, it depends on the type of pet hair you have. Some pet hair is short, some hair is long, some carpet is like deeper or more plush than others. So you just want to keep using and flipping it around till you find which surface, which, best, which edge works best for your surface and your pet hair. So it's just something you're just going to keep playing with, keep flipping it over, keep turning till you see what actually works best for you until you get all that pet hair up. So you, one of those that just works for you. You've been in the home space, and it sounds like you have just taken off. How did you get this idea in the first place? Because detailers are skeptical. We're a little crazy, right? But if it works, they're going to love it, right? And I haven't put it through the paces yet, but I love the idea of something that works for me. Because there's, I would talk to consumers, customers, and, and they would say, I have pet hair in my car. And what we struggle with is how to price pet hair. Right. Because it can take forever. I've spent in a, in a rear of a, of a four seat SUV, I spent two hours where they put their dog. How do we talk to customers about dog hair in terms of what are the different kind of dogs, what are their hairs, how do we sound like we know what we're talking about <laughs> and impress our customers before we go and detail their, their car? So, I mean, this is a great Pyrenees hair. My daughter has a great Pyrenees and his hair is super long and it goes it gets super fly away. So, the, that, that his hair is very different than a, a pit bull hair or a bulldog hair, which is a really short, fine hair. So I find this works really well with a short, fine hair. Um, and this being because it's this far is away. The six, this is the six ridges, um, and I find this works really well with a longer hair. Um, again, but this also works well on a plusher surface. So it's a combination of the hair and the surface works best for this product. And you've got to figure out what works best for you based on your situation. So, so I could can... talk to the customer and say, well, it depends on the plushness of the fiber. and It depends on your dog and, and the length of their hair. Right. Um, That's why one tool has it all. It solves all those problems. That's why in the past, you know, one of your tools that you would have in your shop probably won't work that well on some hair because you've got one edge. And that one edge might not be working on the long hair or might not be working on the short hair. So I don't know what edge you're using, but this one has all those edges combined to be really, it's like a multi-tool. Yeah, really. because you know about all the other auto detail. We were talking, I'm like, are you just some home brand that's trying to make it in detail? No, Jackie, you know what you're doing. You know the market out there. So you're talking about different edges 
edges in the same tool yes. to attack different kinds of, of fibers and dog hair. Right. Now this is the called the X3. This has three edges to it. That's why it's called the X3. This one is called the X6. This has six edges to it. So this I would use more for home use. It does have this um, serrated edge, which is really good for getting it out of embedded um, carpeting out of your car. Um, but then it has a squeegee blade for gathering. Oh, I like, like the that. squeegee blade. So That's squeegee nice. Blade for gathering. But then it also has, this is more for delicate surface. So I would not use this on something like this as often because it's, you can see that that, that um, rubber is not as gritty and grip, as grippy. So that's more for delicate surfaces. So, so I'm interrupting you. Why would I do that? It's your product, but <laughs> I, I did it anyway. Uh, this you said is really good for for nooks and crannies. Now yep. detailers are pretty savvy, right? We'll find toothbrushes, we'll find dental tools. Like we know how to take kind of little household items and get creative with it because oftentimes a standard operating procedure just doesn't cut it. When right. you're in the moment and you need a solution and, and you don't have it, you'll start to get creative. You'll pull out, you know, you'll pull out a card and you'll you'll start to use a, a card and start to go like that. I mean, we'll, we'll just figure out solutions, but this looks really cool. Tell me about this tip here so on this tool. this is the crevice tool. Um, and this is again, one of the problems we have, especially in our home, is that, um, you know, we have a lot of dogs and we've got a couch that all the dog hair seems to get into those cushions. So it's really nice, instead of pulling the whole couch apart to get that hair out, just to stick this tool in there and dig it out of the crevice. This works great on sterilizers. You know, your sterilizers where they meet in the corner, that you can never get that vacuum in there. It's really great getting the hair out of there. Between your wall and your carpet where your vacuum just doesn't, you know, there's a rubber edge around your vacuum to protect it from hitting the wall. So this much of your home has hair in it. So you just take this into the edge and it gets to the hair. So this is more, this has six edges to it. It's got the crevice tool, it's got the serrated edge, it's got the pad, it's got the, the small serrated, the small squeegee, the large squeegee, and then the, the fabric. So this is six tools, six edges, and that's three edges. You know, detailers, they may just want to try one tool. I would recommend that. And again, this is called the? Furdozer X3. The Furdozer X3 Pro. You know at Hawk Pro, I love to find the new stuff. I love to find the best stuff. And I want to be first out there. I want to let people know that I'm looking for the goods. Well, we uh, just do, launched last week, so, so you are first. Yeah, so no <laughs> detailers know about this yet. An exclusive on Hawk Pro. Um, wh when you talk about your why, what is your why? Because you could have been doing anything, starting any business, working for someone. Why would you start this company? Why should we trust you? Why should we believe in you to give you a shot with the Furdozer X3? So we have been in business since 2009, um, and we started inventing a uh, mess-proof dog bowl. We had a dog that that we rescued and he came into the house and he flipped his dog bowl and he'd lay in it to cool off. It was this little little bass, spa type, and he'd roll around in my laundry room in this big pile of water and then he'd get up and shake. And that was a disaster. So we created the first product as our neater feeder, which is our flagship line. So and that started in 2009. And we met, tried to make all of our products in the United States. This is actually made in the USA. Um, along with a lot of the other things we do. And so we just decided that we're going to start this company that solves the problems that pets have. So we all love our pets, but we hate the problems that they come with, like hair. Um, but we're not going to get rid of them. We just want to solve the problems. So yeah. we kind of, so our mission is now just to go out and try to solve those problems to make life with pets neater. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, I really appreciate your time at home. Folks, if you have any uh, solutions on, on how you uh, tackle dog hair, uh, what you found works, what you think of this tool, uh, and again, you're going to have seen that discount code at the bottom of the screen. This is not a paid video. This is a, I'm trying to find the cool stuff out there. I will put a link so you know how Amazon affiliates work if people want to click yeah, on it. Sure. Um, you know, I get a small percentage of that, but you also get a discount of that. So uh, any final thoughts, Jackie, uh, for the detailers out there who are seeing you for the That's first time? Detailers, well, you definitely want the X3 Pro. Uh, there's three different models, the Mini, which is a smaller version. We have a Mega, which is more for like carpets and beds. It's definitely the Pro. It's five inches long. Um, it just makes it easy to maneuver. It fits in your hand nicely. Um, and again, it's multi-ridges. You just make sure you keep flipping it over. Do you find your edge? Hold it flat, apply pressure, and pull it towards you with small, quick strokes. Okay. You can have a clean car. I hope you've made this in a durable way because detailers are going to beat the crap out of this. <laughs> and if it breaks down or if they find that it doesn't work, they're not going to come back to you. And I know, I can just tell from talking to you, you want to take care of people. It, it works. It works. We actually spent two years inventing that to make sure it was sturdy enough. So it, trust me, it works. And American made. American made. Made in Michigan. Very cool. Well, that's why we're at SEMA here trying to find the good stuff for you. Uh, thank you for watching and, and make sure you let me know if you try this, what you think.